Today, I want to share with you the poignant story of Mary Elizabeth Holliday, a woman who faced unimaginable suffering and made a courageous choice to end her pain. Mary battled severe multiple chemical sensitivities and fibromyalgia for decades. Her life was a constant struggle filled with pain, weakness, and isolation. Simple pleasures became impossible. Hugging loved ones, using scented products, or even receiving proper medical care all turned into sources of agony. But the real turning point came when Mary was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer. She couldn't tolerate the harsh side effects of chemotherapy, and she saw this diagnosis as an escape from her relentless suffering. Mary sought medical aid in dying, a legal option in some states for terminally ill patients, but encountered resistance and roadblocks in the U.S. healthcare system. Desperate for a peaceful end, Mary discovered a clinic in Switzerland that offered compassionate end-of-life care to non-residents. Intravenous drug administration, which she could tolerate, provided a glimmer of hope. With a heavy heart but firm resolve, Mary began making arrangements for her final journey. She meticulously prepared for her departure, tying up loose ends and ensuring her loved ones were cared for. Her husband, despite his immense grief, supported her decision, understanding that this was the best choice for Mary's well-being. Her friends, too, stood by her, although her mother's struggle with losing her daughter weighed heavily on their relationship. As her departure date approached, Mary reflected on the importance of compassion and support for those who are suffering. She believed everyone deserves empathy and understanding, regardless of their circumstances. Mary felt compelled to share her story to shed light on the invisible struggles many face and to advocate for greater understanding and acceptance of alternative end-of-life options. Mary's journey highlights the limitations of the current healthcare system in addressing end-of-life care. She advocated for a more compassionate approach that respects individual autonomy and acknowledges that death is a natural part of life. Her story challenges societal norms and encourages open conversations about death and dying. Mary's decision wasn't driven by a desire to die, but rather by a longing for relief from her pain and suffering. She yearned for a dignified and peaceful passing, something she felt was unattainable within the U.S. healthcare system. Her story serves as a powerful reminder that everyone deserves compassion and support especially when facing difficult life choices. In her final days, Mary found solace in the thought of reuniting with her deceased daughter in a peaceful afterlife, free from pain and suffering. Mary's story is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of living and dying on one's own terms. Thank you for listening.